Hello YouTube, this is Gamer Delta, and today I have another Skylanders Giants update for you. Uh, at long last, I have finally found Series 2 Spyro along with an unexpected Series 2 Drobot, which is also out now, I can finally confirm, but if you've been following along with the updates, you, this uh, of course means that I finally have all of the Series 2 characters. These are the last two I need to unbox. But um, that does not mean it is over for my collection yet. I still have three more characters to get. Um, one of which t was released tomorrow. This is, uh, which is uh, the 22nd tomorrow of June. So that is when the Polar World Wind is going to be released. It is a GameStop exclusive. So hopefully I may be able to get a, a video up tomorrow of that if I get it. If I get it because I still have to work and... Who knows? By the time that event, by the time the event, Big Skylanders uh, event thing that they're holding is over, I'm, they might not have any. So maybe, maybe not. But for now, we will unbox the last of the series two characters. Let's take a look at. Let's save the best for last, in my opinion, at least, and start with series two Drobot. Now this is the. He is technically the last series two to be released, and as you can see, his repose is much different than the uh, the other counterparts. He's, Let's start off with his Series 1 pose. As you can see here, it's still kind of aggressive, like he's uh, about to swat his claw at you. It has the wings up. Looks like he could be shooting beam lasers too, but still, that's not too bad. Especially since he's one of the better, uh, more broken characters, actually. And then, now we have his Light Core repose here, as you can see. It's almost a little like Spark, like a Spyro's pose here. He just has his head turned to the side and looking with his wings sort of expanded out and that one dinky little LED piece in his back, but um Not too too bad. I guess at least not compared to this one anyway This one as you can see here. It seems to be um, He's shooting out one of his discs even though he's supposed to shoot out two but um so that's pretty cool though. I think it might be his wow power attack or something. It's been a really long time since I've actually used Drobot in the game. It's been a long time since I've actually played the game at all. But um, And yeah, I'm still collecting the figures, but still pretty cool. Uh, on the back it just has different information and lists the other tech, t uh, tech Skylanders. But let's pop this baby open. Actually see it up close. Bah. Okay. Let's do that then. God, I hate it when that happens. There are. Does not want to come out. Oop. Took something out there. There we go. Got to peel it all off. Pop them out. And get out his card. Funny how that how his uh, series two counterpart is the last of the two to be released when his late core was one of the first to be released. But anyway, here is series two Drobot out of the package. As you can see, his tail is sort of looped into the. Um, into the spinner there, which is kind of neat. Very, very nice. Makes him look a lot bigger too. Now his wings are actually slightly larger and fully expanded out. So it gives him the illusion that he's much taller, but not really. So that's very cool. Anyway, take a look at his card here. So we can see Series 2 Drobot. We have an attack of 65, a defense of, not, of a 95, a speed of 70, and 65 in luck. Now, comparing that to his other cards, compare that to his Series 1 counterpart, Series 1 Drobot has 40 attack power, so that's about 25 plus for the Series 2. We have a 75, so that's a 20 plus for the Series 2 in defense. 60, a 60 in speed, so a 10 up, and a 45 in luck, so another 20 up. So definitely an improvement for the Series 2. However, Taking a look at his light core stats, we can see light core Drobot has an attack of 65, so same for each. He has a def uh, light core has a defense of 80, so the series two actually beats it out by 15. 
Um, his speed is 65, so that's a plus 2 for the Series 2, and a 70 of luck, which is uh, 5 higher than the Series 2. But overall, the Series 2 actually beats out the Light Core in terms of overall stats. And I think it's the first time that's ever happened, so that's pretty awesome. Sort of, but, um, you know. I think, well, I still think the the uh, light core still has the advantage with the flash bomb attack, but so that's very cool. Series 2 Dreadbot there. And finally, let's put all these over here. Inbox the final Series 2 character, Spyro. Spyro was, of course, first released with the actual game, the Skylander Spyro's Adventure, which had nothing to do with Spyro whatsoever, but, except for marketing purposes. But that was the only way you could actually get him was with uh, with the console starter packs, which was seventy four ninety nine. But now, since he's out in the series two on his own, you can get him without actually having to get the the Spires Adventure game. Although I'm sure it's not too hard to get him second hand anyway. But especially considering this one is actually so rare, it took me so long to find the damn thing. But um, let's open the final series two character. Uh, it's gonna be a bitch too. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe yeah. Get you out of there. to the side and let's look at series 2 spire here out of the pack and up close now besides the repos which doesn't look exactly menacing at all looks like he's begging for a biscuit or something um, but you still he has the one major difference here as you can see on his wings he has two diamond encrusted uh, gems on his uh, wings there which is kind of nice at the tip or it's where they expand along with uh, sort of this attachment clear sort of reddish pink attachment there to his wings which is kind of cool a little like a little extra armor but other than that there's not too much pretty much of the same and take a look at the original series one spyro as you can see not too much is uh series one is a little more aggressive but oh well Still, it's a very nice figure. If you don't have Spyro, I definitely recommend getting this one at least. So that you have him in your collection. But, um... I didn't, uh, I didn't bring down, actually, a Dark Spyro or a Legendary Spyro for a comparison because it's pretty much just... Same thing as Series 1 Spyro, just to paint a different color. So, but we will be looking at all of their stat cards. Anyway, looking at Series 2 Spyro, we have an attack of 75 a defense of 60, a speed of 100, and 65 in lock. Now, let's go and compare that to the original Spyro, who has an attack of 60, a defense of 50, a speed of 90, and 60 in lock. So it beats it out by a little bit, not too too much. However, let's look at Dark Spyro now. Dark Spire has an attack of 70, a defense of 40, a speed of 90, and a luck of 60. So Again, it still beats it out in overall stats, or at least uh, two for two. And then finally, Legendary Spyro. Legendary Spyro has an attack of 75, a defense of 55, a speed of 90, and a 60 in luck. So, Series 2 Spyro Arrow actually beats out the Legendary counterpart. This is kind of cool, but there you go. There's Series 2 Spyro, finally. Sorry for the long wait, but I knew I'd eventually find him. But there you go, there is the last of the Series 2 characters, Spyro and Robot. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more videos.